All right, Shalom. This is Brother from Azima. So we're calling came back from another video. Before we go any further, we all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. The Bible of the Apostles, the Great Millstone, are teaching us 100% truth, according to the Bible, well, and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Today, today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, we're going to the Lord's will and edifying lesson on. Uh, the arrows in the scriptures, which, you know, the arrows, you know, that are prophesied in the Bible to be shot, you know, from one end of the earth onto the other. Well, these are the plagues of Yahweh by Shema Shai. These are the weapons of the Lord's indignation. You know, in today's times, they'll be known as intercontinental ballistic missiles. You know, the ICBM, the ICBM. Nuclear missiles is what's going to come in this next uh, World War Three and consume America. You see, this is a uh, second Ezra sixteen thirteen. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp. You see, I'm ready really against. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. It's talking about the heavenly Father using those nuclear uh, solos to shoot, you know, his arrows. It says his arrows that he shoot are sharp. Those arrows being the nuclear missiles. Let's read it again. It says, for strong is his right hand, those nuclear solos that bend the bow. His arrows that he shoot are sharp, meaning they're going to uh, pierce through and devour, you know, their target, which their target is this whore, you know, Babylon the Great, America today, and shall not miss, because the Most High is a mighty uh, archer, you see, uh, arch, uh, he, he is not going to miss, you see, he's very precise with his aim, you see, and his target is locked, uh, he's locked dead cell on his target, which is Babylon the Great, so when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, you see, that's how you know this isn't talking about a new, a regular arrow right here. It says, when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, you see, from one end of the earth, even onto the other. And we're going to get some more precepts to prove that. It says, behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled. And shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. And that fire is going to consume Babylon the Great. That's that lake of fire that you read in the book of Revelations. Like as an arrow is shot of a mighty archer, returns not backward. Even so, the plagues that are sent upon the earth shall not return Again, so these plagues, you know, with the nuclear missiles also being the ultimate plague that Yahweh by Shema Hashai is going to send, you see, uh, uh, are not going to miss. This is Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord shall smite. Smite means to kill all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. All the people that have fought against the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are two-thirds of the Lord's people that are here in America today, today that have chosen the sides of the heathens, you know, chiefly Esau, Eden, the so-called white man. You know, this is going to be the plague that the Lord uses to smite them, which, once again, smite means to kill. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. So while they stand upon their feet, their flesh is going to consume away. If you watch Terminator 2 with Sarah Connor, you'll get a good depiction of, you know, the imagery of that. You see? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their mouth shall consume away. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. That's that extreme heat. That Yahweh Shema Hashai has prescribed uh, for Babylon the Great. You see? This is um
Let me get it in. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 5. They come from a far country, from the ends of heaven, even the Lord and his weapons and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. So it said they come from a far country, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation. Let's get that. Let's get the weapons of the Lord's indignation. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and uh, it's uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 25. Yep. Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 25. The Lord had opened his armory and the armory is a weapon locker. You see? And have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. So the Lord is has brought forth the weapons of his indignation. That's why he pulled out his weapon locker. And his the weapons of his indignation are these arrows. You see, they come from a far country, from the ends of heaven. Those are those archers, those uh, arrows being shot by that mighty archer. With that plague, which is able to consume your flesh off your body. You see, Isaiah 13, 5, they come from a far country, from the ends of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of its indignation to destroy the whole land. You see, how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. So it's going to be his determination is to destroy the whole land let's keep reading jeremiah 50 and 25 the lord had opened his armory and had brought forth the weapons of his indignation for this is the work of the lord of hosts in the land of the chaldees and ultimately the land of chaldees today is america this is um jeremiah 50 and 14 put yourself in the ray against babylon you know, uh, Turkey, these are those uh, uh, countries with the nuclear capability that are putting themselves, uh, that are around about Babylon. It says, put yourself in the ray against Babylon, round about all ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she have sinned against the Lord. So these, this is the plan that Yahweh Shema Hashai has. You know, Turkey, Iran, Russia, China, you know, uh, 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 and all these other nations with nuclear capability, you see, are going to shoot their missiles on Babylon the Great in World War Three and destroy it. This is um, Revelation chapter 11, verse 13. In the same hour was there a great earthquake. And the tenth part of the city fell, and the and then the earthquake was slain seven thousand men. The tenth part of the city is talking about uh Babylon the Great. You see, uh Babylon is divided, you know, uh with Esau, Edom, and his FEMA regions into ten parts. You know, you can look it up in your own time. You see, that's the tenth part of the city that fell, and the earthquake was slain. In the earth, and in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000. 7,000, seven, seven represents completion. So a complete number of souls were slain by those nuclear missiles. And the remnant which were delivered were affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe was passed, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly, and the third woe is when those nuclear missiles will be shot off onto Babylon the Great and destroy this place early. We'll get one more scripture and we'll go ahead and close it out. Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this, but this war, World War Three, but this shall be with burning and with fuel of fire. You see? Lord's alone, Sassan, is edifying with that. I'm going to say, Shalom.